Good morning everyone. I am Dr. Arun Rati, Consultant Urologist and Andrologist, Care Hospitals, Banjara Hills Road Number 1. Today I am going to discuss regarding the management of kidney stones, ureter stones and bladder stones. Whether every kidney stone requires treatment or not. If so, what are the surgical options available? Whether it is laparoscopy, endoscopy, it is non-invasive, minimally invasive, any kind of treatment which is available for renal stone management. So we see many people or many patients coming with uh, kidney stones 3 mm, 4 mm, 5 mm saying that they have a low backache. So first thing is like kidney stones up to 7 to 10 mm doesn't give any kind of pain apart from mild loin pain. So such stones need not be treated. Uh, there is no need of treating surgically or endoscopically the stones, renal stones up to the size of 5 to 10 mm. Unless some professions like if you are a pilot, if you are an army or army person or any profession where you require uh, emergency services, such patients are being treated. Any kind of uh, stone above 5 mm or 6 mm which may cause uh, trouble or pain at the, at the time of their duty. So what are the treatment uh, options available for the renal stones that is kidney stones from 10 mm to 20 mm that is 1 cm to 2 cm. So the most advanced or latest available option is RIRS that is retrograde intrarenal surgery. So the treatment option available is RIRS that is retrograde intrarenal surgery that is laser kidney stone surgery in which there is a flexible ureteroscope or re a flexible rhinoscope which passes through the natural orifice urethra. It enters into the kidney through the ureter and the kidney stones from up to 10 mm to 20 mm or up to 2.5 cm also can be laced with the help of a laser fiber. So what are the advantages of this procedure? RIRS. There is no cut, there is no hole there is no scar, there are no sutures, it is a daycare surgery, there is a faster recovery, there is no blood loss, there is a minimum uh, chances of uh, uh, bleeding and uh, post-op recovery is very fast. So kidney stones or renal stones above 2 cm or sometimes the stones which are unable to do through the urethra, through the natural orifice because of difficult anatomic uh, uh, problems or any infection. We do PCNL where we put a hole in the kidney, we pass a, a nephroscope and with the help of laser fiber the stone is uh, powdered into the stone is completely powdered. So in this procedure there is only a 1-2% to 2 chance of bleeding risk but we can clear the stones in a single sitting. Uh, there, it, is, it is not a daycare procedure. The patient have to stay one to two days in the hospital. So in removal of stones about two centimeter in kidney, the most advanced treatment available is now mini PCNL. In mini PCNL, as the name suggests, mini, we give a very small uh, hole that is around 3 mm to 5 mm uh, through which we pass the mini nephroscope through which a laser fiber is passed. With the help of laser, the stone is completely powdered. So what are the advantages of mini PCNL is bleeding complications are minimized, faster recovery is there, uh, the patient can be discharged on the second day or third day with very minimal complications. For the stones in the kidney above 2 cm, above 2.5 cm or 3 cm or uh, with the stones which are present in the ureter also, in the kidney also, complex stones which we call as like staghan stones also, there is a combined approach which is endoscopic approach which is done through the urethra and also uh, with a simultaneous hole in the kidney that is ECIRS endoscopic combined intrarenal surgery. So here ECIRS we can see there is a complex stone in the kidney as well as ureter wherein the approach is through the urethra natural orifice that is RIRS as well as mini PCNL through the kidney hole. So this is endoscopic combined procedure ECIRS where complex stones, big stones, where the patients we can't turn into the prone in a supine position can be done effectively with minimal complications. For the stones present in ureter, that is the pipe between the kidney and urinary bladder, 
if it is above 6 mm 7 mm if it is causing symptoms if the patient is having pain we do ursl that is ureterorhinoscopic lithotripsy wherein a semi rigid scope is passed and the stone is uh, basketed out or uh, laser lithotripsy is done and the stone is cleared so for those patients who present with severe pain fever vomitings uh, bleeding, a uh, patient is having chills, whose infection is more, whose creatinine is more. For such emergency patients, we straight away don't remove the stone. For him to get rid of the infection, there is a procedure called digestenting done. So this is a digestenting. Here you can see there is a stone obstructed in the ureter. That is a pipe between the kidney and the bladder. In this, we are passing a stent which bypasses the stone into the kidney so that the urine whichever is infected in the kidney comes out through the stent. The patient's creatinine comes down, infection comes down, patient recovers fast. Uh, it is an emergency procedure done for those who present with infection. After two weeks, 10 to, 10 to 14 days, once the infection subsides, we remove this stent, we break the stone and put a new stent again. Apart from these endoscopic procedures, for complex stones like present in pelvis, we even do a laparoscopic procedure is also available. And there is ESWL like ex extracorporeal shockwave lithotripsy, wherein shockwave treatment is given but not practiced uh, nowadays. So overall these are the procedures which are available for management of kidney stones depending on the site, depending on the size and depending on the clinical features of the patient.